Yes, good morning. Uh, Commissioner, mass surveillance of private and confidential communications has a chilling effect on the exercise of a whole range of fundamental rights, and that's why it needs to be stopped. The European Court of Justice has repeatedly overturned the Commission's view that US intelligence agencies' mass surveillance powers and programs are in line with fundamental rights. So I can't believe, really, that the Commission is again about to defend this kind of gross violations of our fundamental rights regarding the UK um, mass surveillance programs, both regarding metadata and even uh, content uh, data. There is nothing targeted about these uh, approaches except the, the access to the data. And the Commission's argument that these powers are, are subject to, um, to court orders and, and review is completely irrelevant. It doesn't change anything about um, the disproportionality and even violation of the essence of the right to privacy when it comes to um, bulk um, indiscriminate um, a storage of, of communications uh, content data. So you need to insist that the UK surveillance law is amended or else you will fail in court with these draft decisions and that creates a lot of uncertainty uh, for citizens and businesses alike. And a second question to you. Uh, it seems that UK law enforcement authorities are commonly storing data in US clouds because they're using Microsoft uh, Office products, etc. Have you at all looked into this? There were some remarks about the decision and the case law president of the Court of Justice. It is first important, it is first important to stress that the UK retention regime that was assessed by the Court of Justice in the Privacy International case is not in force anymore. In its judgment, the Court found that the previous UK system did not provide for any objective criteria to circumscribe the access to personal data by a relevant national authority. However, the regime that now regulates the acquisition and retention of communication data is very different from the one that has been considered illegal by the court. The Invest Investigatory Power Act, which replaced the regime assessed by the court, addressed the shortcomings found by the court. In particular, the law requires that the warrant to authorize a surveillance measure can be issued only if such measure respects the principle of necessity and proportionality, to answer to your question. These criteria are not abstract and must be assessed ex ante, so before authorizing the warrant by a judicial authority, the judicial commissioner. This is a significant difference with the previous regime where the Secretary of State could issue the warrant under his or her complete discretion. Moreover, under the current regime, when assessing the necessity and proportionality of the measure, the Judicial Commissioner will assess whether the requirements set by the Court are met. In particular, whether there is a link between the request measure and the objective pursued by the intelligence agency, and whether the same objective could be reached by less intrusive means. Finally, the current regime also set out more requirements concerning the security, the retention and the disclosure of the personal data collected.